If you're an Amazon SageMaker user, you may have heard about it for end-to-end data science. It's often really popular just to get a Jupyter Notebook and start doing some exploration. Uh, but new users can be a little confused about what version of Python they can use in SageMaker. And they'll often see these very nice pre-built kernels, pre-built Python environments, so stuff that's just packaged up and ready to go. They'll see those available in SageMaker with Python 3.6 or Python 3.7, and they'll think that that's the those are the only versions of Python they can use. And that's actually not the case. Here's how you can get around that. If you open up a terminal and create a new Conda environment, we can install whatever version of Python we want. And don't worry, I can hear you now. Like, oh, Gus, I want to pip install packages. I don't want to use Conda. It's okay. That's exactly what we're going to do. We only need to Conda install one package. We will Conda install or create a new environment and install with Conda Python itself. And we can specify what version of Python we want, like 3.8, 3.9, 3.7. .9, Go ahead and pick it. That those are Python's available as a Conda package. After that, we just need to activate our environment, and then we can pip install whatever packages we want into that environment. This will give us a one-time environment available, a Jupyter kernel that we can then use with our notebooks. There are other strategies for persisting this for repeat sessions, but just for a quick and dirty, if you're a SageMaker user and you want to use Python 3.8 or 3.9 and you think SageMaker doesn't support it, no, it totally does. Just use Conda to create your environment, and then you can pip install whatever you want after that so you get your work done.